Hey, Rocky. Rocky. He's say he's wondering what the hell is going on. What's happening, pal? What's happening? He's still just looking at me. So today I am almost finished packing up from Christmas. I got the Christmas tree down here and the dog's still looking at me. And I've got, I still got to go outside and clean up there. We've still got a little bit of snow out there. But the reason why um, I thought about shooting a quick video here is that this Christmas tree that I've packed up, it used to sit over here. Now it's got it in the box. I have to get that damn thing downstairs. And every year when we do this, I get more and more irate because it's a real pain in the ass. It's really bad. And I, you've seen my videos. I can tend to drop a, um, a curse word here or there, but you should see it when I go to move that thing downstairs and put it downstairs. And that got me into thinking about how accountants talk to their clients and how you have to be so important. Watch your language. Very closely watch your language. Uh, clearly, I'm not talking about swearing. I'm talking about watch the way that you talk to your clients because you can create a price sensitive client. So one of the things that I, uh, I am very adamant about is that is a saying that uh, Warren Buffett came up with. Price is what you pay, value is what you receive. Price is what you pay, value is what you receive. When you get a speeding ticket, what do you get? You get a fine, you get a fee. If you, uh, if you bring your books back to school or your books late back to the um, library, you get a late filing fee. Well, I find more and more accountants, they're, when they're talking to their clients, they use the dreaded swear words. They talk about the cost of their services or they say, here is our fee. Here's your invoice. Watch your language. Don't say those things when you're with your clients. In the new year here, try and make a new year's resolution. Think about it that way. I'm no longer going to use inappropriate language with my clients. I'm going to, from now on, when I talk about my services with my clients, I'm gonna just find a seat here. It's nice, it's nice and sh nice natural light coming through here. When I'm working with my clients, as you can see, I'm still packing, packing shit up. When I'm working with my clients, when I talk to them about my services, I'm only gonna talk about the price. Price is what you pay, value is what you receive. Talk about price, price equals value. That has to work that way. But don't use the word fee, don't use the word cost, don't use the word um, invoice, don't use those negative connotations. Always talk about the price and, and, and match your services, the price of your services up to the value that they're going to receive. And again, I've got lots of videos on exactly how to talk about that. And that's one of the things we really talk about in the account success formula is moving yourself to a value-based, a value pricing system with a subscription-based model. You have a conversation with the client ahead of time and get the price and the value determined before you even get started. But if you're not ready for that, no problem. You stick with your billable hour. But even then, don't talk about fees. Don't talk about cost. Talk about price. Watch your language. So I'm Eric Solbeck and reminding you, when you take back control of your business model, you can take back control of your life. Stay tuned for more success tips to come.